Hi and welcome, my name is Julianne Cost, and in the next few minutes we're going to take a look at how we can quickly download images from a camera card or from a mobile device. I'm here in the library module in Lightroom and I'm going to click the import option. On the left hand side we're going to want to select a source, in this case I have a card from my camera hooked up through a card reader and I'll choose that as my source. Then I need to tell Lightroom what to do with those files. Since they're now on a card, I actually want Lightroom to copy them and we can see thumbnails of the images that are going to be copied right below. This is our grid view and you can see this is the icon right down here in our toolbar. If I wanted to see an image larger, I could double click on that image. That takes me over to loop view. You can see the second icon is now highlighted. If I wanted to go back to grid view, I could either tap the G key or tap the icon itself. Now most of the time we'll want to just import all of the images on a card, but you should know that we could uncheck the images that we didn't want to import. Maybe we're on a really short timeline or something, and then I could just select the images that I want to import, click on the little empty well there, and that would go ahead and just import a subsection, just the images that I have selected. But for now, let's go ahead and check all of them. I want to copy all of the images from that card to a location on my drive. And where do we pick that location? That's over here on the right hand side. Now, before we pick the location, there are a number of other options. For example, under file handling, you'll notice that I want to build just the minimal previews here. This is going to be the fastest way that I can look at my images. So I'm going to choose minimal. And then under file renaming, we should know that we can go ahead and rename these files while we import them. If we want to do this, we'll just enable it. And then we can choose from any one of these different templates. Now the template that I really like is the one that allows me to put in a custom name and then a sequence. You'll notice here that it's got a custom text area. So for example, if I wanted to add Singapore, to name the files I could, if this was a client, I could also put the client's name, and then I can choose a start number, and you'll notice that I get a little preview down here under the sample area. As for the destination, I need to tell Lightroom where to copy the files. By default, it's going to select my pictures folder, but I can actually put these images anywhere I want, and I can arrange them by either date, or I can put them into a single folder. So I'm going to navigate here, to the desktop, I'll double click on it so that it docks it, and then inside the desktop I have a folder called Lightroom CC Demo Files, and inside there I've got an Image Vault folder, and in there you can see my 2015 folder. So instead of arranging these by dates, I'm going to put them into a single subfolder, and I'll organize them into one folder, and I will name that folder Singapore. We can see that it updates it to give me a preview of what that would look like, and I notice that I'm not quite in the right folder. I actually need to click on 2015 if I want Lightroom to put it in that folder. Then I'll click Import, and Lightroom is going to copy those images from this external card to that location on my hard drive, renaming the files in the process. This is the same way that I would import images from a mobile device. Instead of choosing the card, I would just choose that mobile device. Now we can see that it's copying the files and importing them. We see the progress bar up here. We can see in the catalog panel that it's importing 25 images, and there it goes up to 32. It also ejected the card automatically after importing. And below this, we can see in the folder panel that folder called Singapore. If I click on that folder, we see the contents of that folder here in the preview area, as well as the individual images down here in the film strip. If I ever want to know where these images are on my hard drive, I can simply right mouse click on the folder itself, tell Lightroom to show it in the Finder or in Explorer, and we can see here that sure enough, in that folder called Image Vault, I have a subfolder 2015, and here's the new folder that I just created called Singapore, and all of the images that have been copied from my camera card to that folder. So there you have it. It's just that easy to copy your files from a camera card or a mobile device and import them into Lightroom. My name is Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.